sort of been around kids, trying to help kids my whole life basically, and so I suppose this was the next progressive step. I divorced 20 years ago, so I didn't have kids of my own, so I thought I could still help kids. So I've got two permanent boys, amazing kids, two different boys. One's um, on the spectrum, he's into computers, a very, very smart boy. I've got another one, he's only 14, and he's, he plays A-grade basketball and any other sport, anything to do with sport, he, he'd be out there, he's out there going, he's amazing. And don't worry, we have our family issues the same as everyone else, but 99% of the time they're fun. The most surprising thing about caring is how respectful the kids are, how um, they want to help. They'll come to the table and eat their dinner and they'll go to bed and they'll be respectful of us that we have to get up and go to work or that there's other children in the house. I was under the presumption that these are all troubled kids that, you know, we're going to misbehave and all that. No, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. When we form a bond, it's, it's just routine and consistency. So routine is you get up at a, and go to bed at a certain time. You come home and if you're supposed to do your chores, you do your chores. And consistency, you've got to be consistent with your answers. So routine and consistency and kids feel safe. So then the bond forms and then you go from there and it's like a tree. You've got the you've got the trunk and then all the branches come off it. So oh, do I feel like I've got support from the agency? Absolutely. Yeah. One hundred percent of the time. They're all they're always there. if if someone can't bring me back, someone else does. But the agency support is is second to none. They're, they're really good. The the children that come in have a case manager, but I also have uh, a member of the agency that's not a case manager that uh, that checks on me at least once a month, but I talk to them all the time. The favourite thing about fostering is probably seeing the smiles on the kids' faces and you know when you're helping them because they're just so relaxed. Some kids come in really, really down in the dumps, angry or whatever and we go and have fun and they've just got smiles on their face. It's amazing. Father's Day and my birthdays and their birthdays and Christmas. We all gather at our caravan park and my mum and dad, they put on the big Christmas spread, you know, all the meats, all the vegetables, you know, and the Santa comes and there's presents and everything. And if you ask them, what's the best thing about Christmas? And the answer is not the presents, which everyone would think. They absolutely love sitting down at the Christmas table with all the decorations. It's them feeling included or part of a family. We need carers. There's so many kids out there that need caring. And if you think you can do it, have a go. If you think you can't do it, still have a go and see if you can do it. I didn't know if I could do it, but we gave it a go and here now, <laughs> seven years later. <laughs> open your heart, open your home, become a foster carer.